G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, how are we all doing today? It's another, another sunny day, of course, because it's the same day as the last video. But, I thought we'd do another video, because the rest of the week is going to be goddamn miserable, it is. Um, so I thought, what better time than the present to get some more videos done. I'm only going to do two today, last time I did four, that was outrageous. So, I'm doing two videos today, and just cruising and bruising. So, if you're new around here, g'day, my name's Nathan. Uh, leave a comment down below, let me know what you write, and I'll reply to you as soon as I see the damn message. Subscribe if you enjoy my content, because we always out here posting every uh, three days on average. And without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So, ladies and gents, if you like meat, meet-up, spike meats, cruising with the boys, cruising with the girls, stuff like that, alright? This is the video for you, because if you get into our Discord, there is a lovely channel called Bike Meets. And, of course, if you liked having an idea of meeting up, so there will either be meetups that are organised by yours truly, or meetups organised by anyone else in the Discord. It is a completely open uh, season in there. I have no rules or regulations about who can, what can do a meetup and where. Obviously, uh, we tend to be in Victoria, so try and keep them in Victoria unless you run it by me first, because if we have more people based in other parts of the world, well, then I'll be more than happy to do another channel for you guys as well in the Discord, so you can have meetups with all your friends and family, you know what I mean? <laughs> I enjoy the idea of the uh, community aspect of riding and why is everyone going so goddamn slowly? It is a 70 zone. Jesus. <laughs> all right, anyway, let's just completely go back over here. Anyway, so I'm saying, if you do, if we end up getting a lot more people, obviously I'm gonna make more groups and what for everyone else to get in and get in on the action, but typically our big bike meets are Victoria based. If you hear of a bike meet, it'll be posted in there or you can post it in there. If there's a bike meet by us or someone else in the group, they'll post it in there. Or even if you're just fiending for a ride, we got one lovely lad in there. He was the guy who was in our last subscriber ride video. He's always itching for a ride. <laughs> so if you're living on, especially on the west side of Melbourne, he is riding basically every day. So if you enjoy just meeting some people and going for a ride with them, that is the place you're going to find them. So feel free to hop in the Discord. That's right, this entire video is an ad for my own Discord, sponsored by me, the... Ch I wish I could pay myself something to sponsor myself, but I can't. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a lo lovely, lovely time, alright? Basically what I'm trying to push is we're trying to build a community out here. And uh, if you love uh, love riding and you're in Victoria, I'm just telling you, that's the place to do it. We've got a lot of people just mentioning whenever we have a standard bike meet. So like the Glenny Kebabs one is definitely one of them. Um, there's the Bike Night Melbourne, which has been restarted by some other blokes. That's a fun one to get in. Uh, stuff like that, you know, if there's other bike meets, there's one in Packenham, I know. Then there's a few more that pop up here and there, but basically, if you're not, if you're new to the scene, you don't know when the bike meets are, you'll find them in there. Um, and like I said, if you're just looking for people to ride with, because like, I used to ride with a lot of people, and now I ride with basically nobody, except for some subscribers when I can get the chance to. Because uh, old mate Hugh with his MT-09, which you'll see again eventually, he has no money to service the damn thing, and he really doesn't trust riding it with the chain at the moment, so fair enough to him. But he needs to bloody get on the bike, mate. Disappointed, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm bloody looking at you, Huey. But no, nah, he has to save up to go overseas. But I'm not happy. <laughs> and obviously, we don't talk to uh, Jason anymore. So there's no more CPR boy. Which was a bit of a shame because he picked some good rides. But that's all right. Life goes on and then you meet new people. So naturally, I'm going to be involved in a bit more of these rides when I get the chance to. Obviously, work and whatnot commitments get in the way of some of them. But... That's never stopped a rider from doing stuff before. That guy's taped his window up, which is pretty funny. But yeah, man, it's just a good old time. So I don't see any downside as to why one shouldn't be in there. You know, I'm just I'm just telling you, if you're not in the Discord, I'm not happy with you. I'm very upset. I'm telling mum, and I'm telling your dad, and if you don't have either of them, I'm, I'm just telling on you, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna tell your boss. If you don't have a job, well, shit. <laughs> Point being is, I want you in there. I want you to, I want to see you riding. I want to see you posting photos of said rides. And, uh, yeah, that's sort of what I'm, I'm going for, because I'm enjoying seeing the natural progression of this Discord. So, naturally, we went from having, hmm, oh, hello. We went from having just a few people in there to start with, and now we've got quite a lot in there. And, naturally, it's only going to get bigger and bigger with time, so. Oh, hello, are you going to stop in front of me? Oh, yes, you are, aren't you? Ah... <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's some good people with some good rides picked out there. Last time, old mate came all the way from the west. He rode for like an hour just to come out and ride with me. So that was... Mate, what a lunatic. I know. What I know. <laughs> nah, I love him. He's a good, good boy. Um, but yeah, man. Just hop in the Discord. Come join in on some of the rides. I know we can have some fun. 
and obviously we're going to post some videos in the process so if you do like the idea of just potentially being shown in one of the videos with me mate you know where to find me obviously there was a few today that i got invited to but i did not wake up until the afternoon i know i normally do that anyway but uh i was a wrecked man last night i'm a bro i'm still broken i told you why last video for the go-karting but i'm still hurt and still in pain <laughs> So it is, it is what it is, but man, she. <clears throat> oh, I don't want 60 yet. <laughs> oh boy, I'll tell you what, the rest of this week's looking pretty miserable in terms of weather. Uh, lots of rain forecast and whatnot, so hopefully I can get these videos to cover up the mess. I've got to post one of them today and another one later, and hopefully I can get another one done before the weather uh, returns to misery. So we shall see what we're looking at in that regard but you never really know until you know because Melbourne's weather I can say that it's sunshine and rainbows and then piss down with rain five minutes later and go back to sunny and then piss down with rain it's one of those obnoxious and dramatic places which you can never really truly predict the weather and I'm going to count that to us being on the south side where all the bloody water is and all the lovely polar winds come and interfere with our life and ah man it's the government I don't know what's wrong with it ain't got no gas in it <laughs> But you know it will be so obviously naturally the weather is going to be all over the shop and winter doesn't make it any better because rain just likes to appear out of nowhere but it is what it is but uh in other news i don't think i'm going to be buying a bike in september at the rate it's going because uh the bikes i'm looking at are in the 20 to 30 grand range and i think i have a total of 800 dollars to my name saved in my savings account so look no one is more disappointed than me but i can always just save up 6k and buy a jigsaw <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but I could. I'm not going to, though, but I could. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying. I could. I'm just not going to, but I could. There's nothing wrong with Jixxers. I just, you know, I don't want one. <laughs> and there's, that's okay. Jixxers are not terrible bikes. It's the people on the Jixxers that tend to ruin said Jixxers for people. You know what I mean? <sighs> it's like people who drive GD86s. They sort of ruin that car for everybody thinking they're something special. Uh... Oh, KFC, don't make me hungry now. I haven't eaten today. It's only 4 p.m. I don't like eating yet. Don't make me hungry. <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, I'll tell you what. After riding the R1, it's going to be really hard finding any other bike that gives me the same sort of joy. Now, a lot of naked bikes do hit uh, 100 at the same speed an R1 does, which in Australia is really all you're going to need because the highway patrol don't like it when you go fast. It's a shame. But I tell you, man, I one rode fantastically, but I do like the idea of the wind in my so-called hair because uh, it feels faster. When the R1, I felt the acceleration up to the speed limit, and then um, that was it. I didn't feel any more speed after that because uh, you just feel nothing. You just hear it, your lovely exhaust note, but you feel the acceleration, and obviously you see everything coming at you faster. And when you go 300, I'm sure your adrenaline will be kicking in. But like, when you're going 100. 50 on a bike like this one or a naked bike you, you feel all the wind you don't tend to be like oh shit i'm going slow you go oh fuck i'm going fast because i can feel the wind so like it does feel more scary and more enjoyable to me personally i don't need to be going 300 kilometers an hour to enjoy myself cheeky nod from old mate sounded nice that bike but yeah, I've been trying more and more to get the uh, the salutes out. So if you do see me running the uh, riding around and the salute happens, well, if there's a rebel with a golden Ruok uh, Atlas 4.0 helmet, it's probably me anyway. Let's be honest. There's not many of the Ruok boys in in our area. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to touch on today with video wise, ladies and gents. I just wanted to try and get the uh, community growing, and there's no shame in that because it's not a shill thing because it's my own damn thing, boy. If it was an advertisement, maybe that's different. So, it all changes, you know? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have time for. So I do hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you join in on the Discord. If you've got any other thoughts or comments, comment down below. I'll reply to them as soon as I see them. But take it easy, keep it cheesy, and otherwise, have a good day. Peace, bye!